Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Now, you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. You have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> mm. 
My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? You're a good filly. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin' so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but 
They taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. Into Blackwater. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot. Some country rube doesn't know a pre cut home from an outhouse. And I'm going to rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumberyard, I'd think exactly the same thing. <sighs> Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let's get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ha! <laughs> You're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Come on, girl. You're okay. This is him. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I... But this man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay. I'll follow you. Why are you stopping? All right. The Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there, on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans too. 
They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I can get. But it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about them. Got a hold of them. What were you speaking about? Got a hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> Shit. No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched it. Bark the odd order at us. It's solid though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Don't get too far what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. This is Painted Sky up here. Look. What? Ramon Cortez, you better be here. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Oh, Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly! You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. <clears throat> Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up.
still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Easy. Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch! Two hundred! Three hundred for her head! Be quiet! Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <clears throat> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? 
Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. before we do anything. Easy. Let's go up. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well.
a court! Get over it! Just be. Son of a bitch. You was gonna say something. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Ah. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Okay, let's go. about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises? Up your sleeve. You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. 
that the Lobos will not forgive this. Uh, wherever you hide, we will find you, and we will kill you, you, and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Hold your horse there. find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. down, girl. Come on. Big mistake. Back, Real big back. mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. Will you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Girl, stay here.
Alan is your holiday. I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's break it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Let's go. Yeah. Collect yourself. Let's go. We can't leave this waiting. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about it. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. John, look, we should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him... Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in... Trees there. Okay. To the trees. Come on. Up. To the right. Two skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. 
He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. John, stay with me. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Hold it. Let him go. Easy, easy. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick, he won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. It might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Keep on him. Stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. Poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. Oh. My God. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on! Ugh. Behind you! All right, kids! This is a pro- Over. We're here for you! All of you! I 
on to you. I gotta get you down. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get Uncle. You're okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got them. Oh. Oh, looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Come on, Uncle. Ready? Got him. Because here come the rest of them. Quick. Quick. There's more of them.
Let's get out of these woods. I'm getting. I'm feeling real weird. Get through them. Till we're home. Right hard. Oh man. How's the back? I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you bastard. I don't feel good. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Does it look okay? Get back up. We need to get him home. Oh, don't let me fall, please. Uncle. Uncle. Hey. We're here. All right. Let's get you down. Easy. I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on. Let's get him out there. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Don't get all sentimental now, old man. Then I'll really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. I... He always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess.